Hello again, and welcome back to my game as Sweden. Um, we just won a pretty great battle against uh, Denmark. Definitely really trashed their uh, largest army with uh, our six shock, sh bleh, six shock general. Um, we're losing a lot of money because uh, we're reinforcing casualties from that battle, and we went into a lot of debt. Um, but I think it was worth it to get these extra cavalry to, uh, to really, really hurt that army. Um, so I'll just go ahead and start the siege on this. I'll tell Novgorod to not worry about it since he's not interested in helping me anyway. Um, could have also been good to recruit a few extra galleys before I started this war so that I could actually contest... Sweden's Navy. Um, does this guy have any shock value or siege value? He does. So that's nice. That'll help this siege go a little faster. Um, I should have been spying on uh, Denmark as well and gotten a few claims before I did this, but that's okay. Um, you know, I can make him give me my core on Gotland back, which I could even release as a vassal. Um, I don't know if it would be better to have Gotland as a vassal or, or just have that province by itself, but it's kind of cool that Gotland has a claim, has a, has a core there. Um, but I can get my core back, um, and I can maybe get, uh, Denmark to cancel his, um, rulership over Holstein. Um, yeah, I, I do wish I had gotten a few a few claims so I could get a little more out of this war, but maybe I can uh, grab some cheap territory from Norway as well. Um, I definitely don't think I'll be able to um, make him release Norway. Um, no, no, offer tribute. Um, yeah, that would need I would need 79 war score to do that, and I need 30 war score to. Oh no, if I, um, no, okay, the, yeah, that would be that would be too expensive, um, but I could pretty easily um. What? I didn't promise people ter land when they came in this war. I don't know why they. All right, well, that that's whatever, but we'll figure that out. We're set to win this war uh, for now. Um, just got to wait until uh, Denmark's war enthusiasm goes, goes down a little bit. He would already be pretty low um, if length of war um, was, you know not there. So after some time, time goes by um, and we get some occupations on him, he'll, he will definitely be willing to to uh, give us our independence. Bump it up to Siege 4 because, you know, we're going to be waiting on this Siege for a while. We don't have cannons or anything to, to help that go faster. Um, yeah, he's already down to medium war enthusiasm. I'm it might be a good idea to just let uh, let Denmark off the hook here and just let him and just have him give me my independence. Um, but I think I, I, I think I do want to hurt him a little bit more. Um, he is uh, I do want that core back from him and I would like it if he would give me some money to help me pay off my debt as well. Um, what's my participation? Not a lot. Apparently Scotland has, <laughs> has the most participation in the war right now. I find that a little bit hard to believe, but okay. Um, let's raise our naval maintenance again. That really wasn't saving us any money. And um, we might as well try to contest the, is some of these naval battles when we can. Um, again, so go once out, I say no. Um, 
How many men are we losing to attrition here? 1%? How many men in the fly loss total? Not that many. 1,700 to, to attrition. And I'm not losing that much money right now. Um, so, I do think I'm just gonna... Oh, well. Uh, what's... I th No, he's... I don't think he's gonna get a crossing penalty because he has a general with three maneuver. Um, so this will just be a straight up fight. I might, oh well, man, it's, it's extremely annoying that Novgorod is not, is just not going to commit any troops to this. Um, I could get my independence right now. I couldn't get Gotland's. And I certainly wouldn't be able to get any money. So I kind of... I do think I want to see how this battle goes. He outnumbers me a little bit, but I've still got that really good general and that cavalry um, advantage. So let's see how this goes. I'll lower the speed a little bit. Wow, a 9 against a 1 in the fire phase. That's pretty good. Um, and then a 7... No, an 8 against a 4... And the shock, that's quite good. Yeah, we're we're just absolutely killing it. That, th having that cavalry advantage and this uh, six shock general is just like they're gonna have an extremely hard time beating me. They got ten army tradition from that. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, that went perfectly fine. Um, we're gonna lose even more money to um, reinforcing. We're probably we're gonna go into more debt. Um, but again, I am, I am okay with that. Um, keep punching this pop filter. Um, but I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Um, I think I'm fully capable of paying it off at the end of the war. Um, I'm not playing even close to, like, optimally, but I'm not really trying to either, so, uh... Yeah, oh, free little bit of arm, army professionalism there. Um, I do kind of want to, I almost never go for professionalism because um, you gain it by drilling your armies and that takes forever and you have to spend a, spend a ton of money on it. Um, so it really just doesn't seem worth it to me, but it might be fun in this campaign to go for a really professional army since, you know, I haven't done it before and Sweden, you know, historically had a pretty baller army uh, during, you know, like the 17th century, I guess. Um, but yeah, we could we could try to mess with that. How much? How how bad is my is my debt situation right now? 240. That's really not that much. Um, I'll be able to um, pay that off pretty easily in peacetime. I am running really low on manpower. Um, the, both of those battles were pretty expensive, um, it, like as far as casualties go. Um, let me try to... Mm, let me see if I can scare his navy. No, I can't scare his navy. <laughs> oh well. I was just hoping to get a blockade on this fort because my chance of getting it is not going any higher because unless I get a wall breach there's nothing there's not really anything more I can do um, to uh, get a better chance of, of actually winning that siege um, so I was hoping that the blockade which would basically give me a plus two from from this um, I was hoping that that would work um, and I actually still am. <laughs> Man, I get... What is this event? Oh, is it because my legitimacy is so low? That might be it. Why is it it's going down because of my negative stability? I should probably stop that. Um, again, I don't want to lose more stability, so I guess I'm going to lose even more money um, and go even further into debt. It's really not ideal. Um, I did lose a ship there. 
Oh well, it's just a cog. All right, took that siege. Um, my lack of manpower is really starting to um, feel not good. So he gives me Gotland. How much money could I get out of him? He would give me 136 ducats. Let's take that down to just 100 and see if maybe he'll give me war reparations. Just about. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, not a... Scotland is going to be annoyed with me for some reason. Uh, I don't know why this is saying that they expect to get land. That's ridiculous to me. Um, but I don't want to be allied with Scotland or Novgorod anyway, so whatever. They can, they can lose trust with me. I don't care about that. Um, I'll get a hundred ducats, uh, just about, um, get a core back, would, is, is this, no, I can't make them return a core, so get, just give me Gotland, give me a hundred ducats, give me war reparations, and give me independence. Sounds great. Glorious victory, apparently. All those things happen. We are independent now, we've got our garbage king, and we fulfilled the mission into the Kalmar Union, uh, which gives us permanent claims on all the things I wanted to have claims on. So that's nice. Um, well, not all the things I wanted to have claims on, but quite a few permanent claims. Um, so that's good. Let's drop our maintenance down, fire our advisor, and we'll start making uh, some money to try to pay off that debt. Um, I also do pretty badly need to... Oh, jeez, the Peasants' War. Gotta get my stability and uh, legitimacy up. Um, but yeah, I don't care about either of these allies. So, get out of here. Um... Set our rivals. Denmark is obviously going to be a rival. We can rival Novgorod too. Um, and who is interested in being our new allies? Uh, Brandenburg would love to be allies. Poland actually wants to be my ally, and Poland is. Uh, yeah, they already have the union over Lithuania, so they are um, a quite good choice for me right now. Are they going to take Danzig? right now because I mean I definitely need I mean obviously I need all of the coastline so I'm gonna need to contest that later but I think they're a good ally for now um, this is an offensive war so they won't call